Kids, we all know, are unpredictable, but this baby, more than most. He rushed into the world in a servo car park, leaving mum no time to make it to hospital. Luckily, Sharon was there to save the day. The retail worker becoming a makeshift midwife. A man ran into the store yelling, we need a towel, ladies having a baby in the car park. There might be bargains galore at the cheapest chips discount store, but assistant manager Sharon Daly says customers usually walk in. Very surreal, uh, like, like watching a movie that's touched your heart. And no, it was real life, it really happened. This is the moment a stranger raced in requesting towels for urgent delivery. Captured on the store's CCTV cameras, that's Sharon reefing supplies off the shelf. <laughs> Just grab it and the gentleman went to run out the front again. Said, no, no, this way. The back's quicker. The yeah. back's much, much quicker and we bolted. Rushing out the back door toward two parents in shock who'd parked in this 7-Eleven car park behind the store in Logan, south of Brisbane. We ran out there and I just coached mum along and kept her calm and we had a baby. This video of Sharon taken by a local security guard minutes after the very sudden delivery three days ago. I wrapped it up in a towel. It was a little bit discoloured. He started rubbing his back and patting his back and got him going and he started making noise and started moving and then I put my finger in his mouth and he started sucking. Um, I just kept going until he got more colour because he was purple. Yeah. I got him going really good. The dad's like, baby okay, is baby okay. I said, baby's good, baby's good. The whole ordeal over as quickly as it began. Once his colour started coming back, that's when I took a bit of a breath and congratulated mum and he is OK mum, his colour's good, it's all happening and mum gave him a feed right then and there before the ambulance got there. Thinking on her feet, she also used her shoelace to tie off the umbilical cord. Even though I'd tried it off, I still didn't, I didn't cut it. Yeah, 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 I didn't yeah. cut anything, no. Yeah. Um, Except for her underwear, because once the placenta came out, everything was taken around. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I just yep. got my Stanley knife and rip, rip. And no then I put my skirt down because there was a taxi driver just gawking and I was like... <laughs> anyway, um... No way. Yeah. You delivered a baby, baby boy or a girl? A baby boy. A baby boy, baby wow. Boy. She says by the time paramedics arrived, there was only one thing left to do. They looked at Mum, they looked at Bob, said they look wonderful. Fantastic, well done, congratulations. Dad, you, would you like to cut the cord? And then he did? And then he did, yeah. Wow. Sharon was determined to steer clear of the ambulance once it arrived, so didn't get the chance to exchange details. If she does get to see them again. From Cheapest Chips, we have a cot, a mattress, change table, blankets, more towels, <laughs> and um, even a little Little gifts in a hamper for big sister in the back seat, for dad, candle for mum to have a relaxing evening <laughs> after all of this, and nappies, wipes, everything you need to sort of get started with and the baby. you'd like to see them again? I would love to see them again, love to see them again, and really get a nice cuddle with that beautiful little baby and congratulate mum and generally tell her I'm proud of her. Isn't that the best story ever? And good on you, Sharon. I hope you get that cuddle soon.